So, what's the next thing? I'll show you. I'll put that over there, out the way, and that over there. If you're wondering why I've got some fruit on my desk, we're going to make some proper ink. Things you will need. Some clear vinegar, some salt, and some very ripe fruit. I'm using a spoon. I've got a kitchen knife to make things a little bit quicker. I have some silver paper, but we don't, I'll show you what that's for in a second. So and I've, got, I've got some little pots, but I mean, you could do it in a cup or anything. Um, oh, and where's the other thing that's really important? There we go. Tea strainer, really important. This camera, what I'm gonna do is put some of these blackberries in the tea strainer. Get the spoon and squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. What we're trying to do is get as much of the juice out of there as possible. Can you see there's a little bit of juice under there? Like that. Just put that like that. Now I was looking online and it said if you get a balled up piece of newspaper, uh, silver foil, tin foil, like this, and squeeze that on, then it should squeeze more out than the spoon would, because it goes more to the shape of the tea strainer. So has that actually worked? Yes it has, it's got quite a bit out. Okay, so I'm gonna put that into there. So we've got, so we'll just rush ahead and I'll do exactly the same with the strawberries. Right, so here we are. We've got the strawberries and the blueberries and um, we're gonna add some salt and some vinegar. Now the reason we add the salt and the vinegar is because the it helps um the, i think the salt helps as the archival permanence and the vinegar helps it adhere to the paper a little bit better so so we just put a very small amount in obviously if you've got more juice you put more vinegar in if you've got less juice like there's a lot less juice there i'm putting a lot less in there i'll put a bit more in there there we go oh i didn't mean to do that We've done that now, so I'll use that spoon to. Okay, and then tiniest little bit of salt. Okay, so that should be enough salt in there. A little bit more maybe, and I'll put all of that into that one. So as you see, we don't use a huge amount of salt and we don't use a huge amount of vinegar either. Make sure that's, that's mixed in really, really well. Right, these are quite well mixed now. And uh, the thing you should really do now is, is filter them. So through some, uh, some like a coffee filter or something like that. But I've not had any success with that because the juice is a bit too thick to go through anything that I've got. So I'm just using it as it is. Um, now you will end up with sort of grainy bits um, and little sort of maybe some real fan seeds or little bits of the skin that have come through. But you know, that's, that's all part of the, the drawing. Once it's dry, you just rub it and it should just rub off. So, let's give it a go, shall we? And see what it looks like. I'll do it on the same page as I use the, uh, the coffee, so you can have a look. Okay, so let's have a look. There we are. 
So that's uh, that's what it looks like. As you can see, it's quite pale. Uh, I'll go back to this camera. It is quite pale, uh, and it doesn't work the same way the coffee does. If you try and put some more over the top, you'll have to probably wait for it to dry completely and then go over the top. Um, but yeah, I, I kind of like the uh, I like the idea of it, and uh, I think I'll uh, I'll do one of these pictures. Um, I'll do one of my photographs. I'll fold that in half. wasn't very good folding. There we are. Okay, right, so uh, that's about it really. Um, so out of the uh, the coffee and the uh, homemade ink from strawberries, um, I really prefer the coffee. Goes on a lot nicer. I'll show you that way. Goes on a lot nicer. It's a lot darker. Uh, that's, I don't know, I just don't think it worked. Um, but I'll go, I'll go back to you, so. Um, if you want to try and use lots of different things just to see what type of marks it makes on the paper. Um, try different fruits, different uh, anything that makes a colour or can stain something, then it, it's probably uh, you can draw with it. Um, one of the things I think was wrong with, uh, with my ink, it was too thick. So uh, a, a way of making it so you can draw with it would be to put water with it. But if I'd have put water with it, it would have made it even paler. So, like I say, it's all, all good for um, experimentation. So, let's see what you can do.